Hi guys, I'm back. And we're gonna do another eight inch by eight inch canvas um, with the last bit of the leftover paint. And we still are using the Apple Barrel Laguna and the Artist Loft Thalo Blue. There's just a little bit left of that. And then the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I've got a little bit left of that. And then these two colors are the Apple Barrel. This one is the Pink Parfait mixed with the Blue Bonnet. And then this one is just scrapings off the table from the last painting. So it's got the Laguna in it, the pink parfait, a little bit of bright yellow, the blue bonnet, and then the Laguna and the uh, Artist Loft Taylor Blue all mixed together in one thing. And it made just this really pretty sort of robin's egg blue. So we're going to use that. I didn't want to put any red in there. Uh, I thought it would sort of take away from the, the pretty subtle colors we've got going on here. So we're going to use um, our laundry room cup again because it's an awesome little little cup it works great for this sort of thing and I think what we're going to do I think I'm going to start with this one because I have mo more of it than anything else it's kind of a little thick hopefully it doesn't have any lumps in it from <laughs> from the table sometimes when you pick up the scrapings off the table you'll get little you know spots in it but hopefully not There's not hardly any phthalo blue left, but we're going to use it anyway. There's not a lot of white left. So this is really going to be stretching this canvas, I believe. There's a lot of this robin's egg blue, so we're going to see a lot of it in the painting, I believe. Oops. Just slinging it around. Okay. Let's do some of this. The rest of this phthalo blue. Get every last little bit of it out. Because I've, as I have told you guys before, wasting phthalo blue is, I don't know, some sort of sin against paint. You just don't do it. Okay, and that's it for the phthalo blue. I have none left. Try not to get anything on the paintings that are drying around me. As you guys know, I'm pretty bad about getting drips on other paintings, so I have to be really careful today. Because those other paintings turned out really nice and I don't want to ruin them. Let's do some more of this robin's egg. That's going to be the dominant color, I do believe, in this painting for sure. There's the rest of this lavender color that we created. One problem with mixing all these colors together is that you end up almost always with an opaque color. And if you have too many opaques and not enough transparent colors, some of the colors tend to get lost. All right, one more layer of what we've got left and that's gonna be it. Nice little bit of Laguna here. Last little bit of white. That's it for the white. And the last little bit of this pretty robin's egg that we've created. Lots of robin's egg blue in there. But it's such a pretty color. Why not?
Okay, fingers crossed that this one's going to work out. <laughs> and these cups I'm going to clean out so that we can use them again because they are awesome really little cups. I mean, I've done four four eight by eight paintings with one, two, three, four, five, six, six color cups plus some white. That's pretty good. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, as I suspected, lots of robin's egg. It's pretty, pretty subtle cells in there. Hopefully you guys can see those. Give it a torch. Lots of tiny cells, but they will grow. I don't like that one right there, but it's okay. It's just one cell among many. Let's get another corner catcher. Uh, let's see if we've got a tall, a smaller one this time. Maybe no, nope, that's yeah. This one will work. It should work anyway. Phthalo blue is in there a little bit, but not much. And there's no paint around the outside, so it's kind of kind of drag over top of itself, unfortunately. So I want to go really slowly. As you can kind of see how these are kind of folding over, it's because we don't have any paint there. I don't really think I've got any paint really to, to use, so it'd be fine. You just can't save as much of your pretty stuff as you want to. Let's see. Let's see if we can scrape out some of this. Whoops, and it's coming off. What's that do? Let's stop that. I just dragged it through there. That was smart. That should help a little bit. Just kind of grabbing that edge and pulling it because it's not real pretty anyway, so it'll wet down the canvas and help that pull off. There we go. Some of that off the table. Okay, let's try that again. That helped an awful lot. Let's go, I think, this way. I'm going to save some of that phthalo blue because it's so pretty. I really don't want to lose it. Let's 
is a very delicate paint. Delicate colors. There we go. And one more corner. Get that all burnt down. Last corner. That is just an overrun of cells. There we go. Oops. Let's bring it back a little bit. Kind of make it a little more uh, balanced with the green and the purple. Okay. That thalo blue is right there in the center and that's about it for it. Well, there's some down the bottom corner too. Okay. We'll move this out of the way before I knock it into the painting. Clean my hands off. That kind of bothers me right there because it's kind of going, looks like it's going off that way, but that's okay. We're gonna, I'm not going to touch it because then I'll mess the whole thing up. Let's see if we can get some more of that phthalo blue to come out. Just some of the heat. Through the air bubbles, of course. Let's see if we can bring something up over here a little bit. Just to get rid of that. There we go. Because that purple is just a little too thick right there for me. Some tiny thalo blue spots up coming up over there. Kind of blot it down on there, bring up some cells. I don't want to do it too much though because there's just too much going on already. So we're going to leave it like that. So let's get you down for a close up. Okay. You can see the little cells that come up. They've been very. You see the table's pretty. There's the cells going over the sides. And then those cells, those are pretty up through there. Just the green and the white and the robin's egg blue that we created. And there you see some phthalo blue peeking through. This is, as I said, a subtle painting. Subtle colors. Different from what we did in the previous paintings, which is nice. I like those thalo blue coming up through there. I wish there was more in the painting, but we didn't have much thalo blue left, so. And the veins around those are real pretty. A little bit more, a little bit more thalo blue coming in through there. Those are pretty right there. That's a pretty spot. Okay, I love that. Okay, well, there's your pretty for today. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you like the colors we went with today. Very pretty, very different from before. Um, but you see a lot of smaller cells everywhere. That's kind of what happens when you start mixing a lot of the paint colors together. Um, partly it's because the silicone gets mixed into the paint so much that it creates the smaller cells. So if you want bigger cells, don't mix your paint quite so much with silicone in it. Um, so yeah, I want to thank all my subscribers and all my viewers and anyone who has donated to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. I am having problems with the website at the moment, so um, if you want to check out the website, um, if you click on my link down below and you get this error page or you get the um, where it says uh, the, there, it says advanced at the bottom of the page. If you click on advanced, 
you can click go straight to the page and it'll take you to the website. For some reason, the www.southerndutchgirlart.com is not working at the moment. I am working on that, so um, try the Heather Wright Art dot weebly dot com and that should take you to the website um, and of course I have a PayPal link in case you'd like to donate to my channel and I love you all very much where I hope wherever you are on the planet you have an awesome afternoon day evening or night see you later bye